Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at this uh, rock crawler model. It was something that was sent in uh, free a long time ago. So this is all part of my uh, kind of clear out that I'm doing. I was asked to uh, put together a few of these controllers to people who were interested in buying them. So I've uh, been I've put together about eight of those, and I'm just working on uh, some sample code at the minute. So I'm taking some of these larger models that I have. I'm putting in this uh, dual motherboard and our uh, 4.1 receiver and basically what we're going to do develop the code for this and add it to the examples on the library that you can download from the website and the idea here is to show you how you can develop your code on something cheap like this uh, model you could probably get something like this on ebay or aliexpress or any of those websites for like 20 30 dollars remove the electronics and you can write your code for your own model this one is an example of a vehicle with two drive motors and a motor for the steering so it's not a servo it's a motor and that gives you an example of how to do the code when you're converting something like a 132 scale rc truck for example a lot of them would have a motor for the steering instead of a servo so today i'm just going to take this apart and change out the electronics and show you how it all works and then you'll be able to download the code yourself on the uh, RC Tractor Guy website if you want an example of how to convert something like this. Okay, well we're into the brain of the uh, model here so this single board is what's controlling everything we have uh, two wires for our motors probably these two we have a steering motor yep and then we have a switch and the battery connection looks like probably about uh, 2.5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz based on this length of this antenna and you only have like three ICs on it, so nothing, nothing too major on it really. So we're going to remove that and replace it with our little board. We're just going to locate it in here. We'll put plugs on so we can just plug most of these straight into the board. And that's it. So I'll get to the wiring and then we can get on with the next stage.
Okay, I have the new controller wired in here. We are getting power through the switch from our battery underneath. We have the two drive motors connected and the motor for the steering connected. So if I give the unit power, flick the power switch, and the same with our controller. Now we have control of the two motors and we have speed control, so we can go slowly. Or quickly if we want which is something we couldn't do before I don't think I think it was just on or off it's the same with the front although with it being a steering motor it's not as it's not as useful so it gives you a little bit of control over the steering but it wouldn't be as good as a servo so that's given us all the basic controls but I don't just want to leave it there. There's a little thing here for lights. So I'm going to take this apart and then add some lights onto this as well. Okay, so what I've done in the front here is a row of white LEDs and in the middle I have four orange LEDs and I'm setting them up like left and right beacons, so two flash on the right, two flash on the left, that kind of thing. Um, I've to wire them up, I had one ground wire and uh, three wires from the three sets of LEDs, so the white ones, the left orange ones and the right orange ones. Uh, I put the resistors up in the cab here so you can't really see them it's very very low profile and then I just drilled some holes in the top of the seats there so the wires actually come along and they go in through the top of the seats come out here and then I've just plugged these in on the the wires that they needed to be on so just more DuPont connectors keep the thing simple so now if we power it up uh, straight away we should see the beacons flashing so we can see those lights flashing there if we turn on our controller we can switch the headlights on and I've noticed our uh, steering is reversed so I have to swap that wire again which is this one So now we know our lights are working, we've just seen that, forward, reverse is working, left and right is working and everything is operating as we'd expect. So the last thing to do now is just stick the uh, four screws that hold on the, the cab I suppose onto the chassis. Okay well that's the monster rock crawler all back together. We have now got uh, good speed control from our controller and uh, we've added a few lights to it so a little bit different from uh, how it originally came to us it would have just had full forward full reverse uh, full left and right lock no kind of speed control at all on the motors so it's a it's a pretty good improvement i think and by doing uh, this little conversion although it's, it's pretty simplistic it did highlight an issue that uh, was on the controller here when i first programmed it I could see the LEDs that flash here when I turned on the controller the the speed at which they flashed was slowed down and that was because this was sending commands to the controller way too fast and that's not really an issue on the other controller which has the screen on it because it takes so much processing power to test all of the other switches and encoders and uh, 
to update the screen to do all the features on the other controller that there's a sort of a natural delay in it so i had to add a little delay here so that now it only sends a signal every 100 milliseconds and that means that the processor inside the truck here is not overworking trying to uh, well receive signals it's concentrating on controlling the motors and flashing the leds the way we want them to well by the time this video goes out this rock crawler might actually have been sold i'm putting it as part of the little batch this is kind of a clear out of my office to some extent so i am uh, putting this with the controller and another uh, receiver and control board and a programming board all together a little kit so that if someone wants they can take this they can use it to experiment on their code and they'll have their own uh, receiver and motorboard ready so that they can install it in their own creation so hopefully you'll have found the video useful it was definitely useful for me to uh, get trying another bit of software and figure out another bug that there was in the code it's, uh, it's hard to do that unless you actually test some of these vehicles in different configurations so that's all i have for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you've any comments and suggestions on that let me know below the video if you're not already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and get the bell on so that you get notifications but that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching thanks very much for watching guys if you liked the video please hit the like button and if you don't want to miss out on the next video click the subscribe button below and get the bell on for notifications a big thanks to all our patrons sponsors and you guys buying the pcbs for your own projects that all helps to support the channel and keep the content coming and speaking of content there should be links on the screen now to a few more videos if you want to keep watching and if you go to the channel homepage you'll see that there are plenty of playlists there to check out but that's all I have for today, so I'll see you in the next video.